My normal journey into work is to walk from home into Uxbridge Station. Then I take the Metropolitan Line to Baker Street, the Hammersmith and City Line one stop to Edgware Road, and then either the District or Circle Line to High Street Kensington. And then it's like about a two to three minute walk into work from the station there, High Street Kensington. Roughly, the journey takes about one hour and 20 minutes door to door, and it costs three pounds 60 on the tube. But I wanted to try a few other routes because there are other ways to get in and it's always handy to have an alternative route. I'm trying out three routes this week and the first one involves walking into Uxbridge and at the station I will pick up a bus, the U1 to West Ryslip. From there, I will take the central line to Notting Hill Gate and then it's one stop on the district or circle line to High Street Kensington. Now it will cost me an extra £1.75 for the bus, but it might be quicker or it might not because the central line has been suffering from some delays over the past few months. But let's see how it goes. Well, I just got off the U1 at West Ryslip and I was very lucky to get it because it actually arrived two minutes early. Now, while we're here, I just want to show you something because this is one of the site areas for HS2, the High Speed 2 rail link. Let's take a little look at that over this bridge. So that's the site over there. And down here, we can see the main line, which is running out towards High Wycombe and Birmingham. And over here, it's the end of the central line. So that's where the trains would shunt up to at some times, I guess. And I think there is possibly a depot out there. There is a little line that goes further up. But over here on the other side, we have West Ryslip Station. And that's where I'll be picking up the central line to Notting Hill Gate. So the trains leave from two platforms and I just have to see which one is going first. For your safety and security, CCTV is used throughout London Underground. Help us to keep your journey running safely and smoothly. Keep your belongings with you at all times. And if you see something that doesn't Oh, I think one's about to go. Which side? Which side? I can't tell. Oh, it's the one with the people on it. I think I might just let it go, actually, because I want to show you here, West Ryslip. And we go the whole way down to Notting Hill Gate, and that's where we transfer for the Circle and District Line. And yes, indeed, a train is just leaving, but there's one on the other side. It doesn't really matter. So you can get a view of the train going. The next train that leaves in four minutes from platform one. And it's usually a case of one in, one out with the central line. I think I see some lights away in the distance of another train coming in. So I'm just going to walk up a bit because it will be empty at this point and I can hopefully get a little bit of footage and talk to you on an empty carriage. So again, here we are at West Ryslip, the end of the line on the western side, and we will be heading over 
to Notting Hill Gate. And that's where I can pick up the circle or the district line, whichever one turns up first. And it's only one stop to High Street Kensington from there. And there's the next train coming in. So there's two central line platforms here at West Reisler. This route isn't entirely unknown to me because I did take it when I worked at my previous job. I would come to West Ryslip and take the central line all the way to Bank and then I was able to walk to my office and it took just under an hour. So that was pretty good going but of course there is the getting to West Ryslip if you live in Uxbridge first of all. enjoying today's episode if you do please give it a like a comment or even subscribe we are trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year and it would be very much appreciated and also if you'd like to buy us a coffee to help us along our way and to help me on my way into work especially then there is a link in the description This is Notting Hill Gate, so I've just got off the central line and now I have to make my way to either the district or circle line, whichever one comes first, one stop to High Street, Kensington. good timing wasn't it it's just in time to miss one that's a district line it's a Wimbledon train and the next one is a circle line via Victoria according to the sign that's due in four minutes so what I would say is if I hadn't been filming and stopping to get a few bits and pieces I would probably have missed that so what I'm going to do at the end I'm going to deduct four minutes for that train and I'm also going to deduct five minutes for the central line train because I stopped to film that sign, didn't I? I think that's fair. Final part of the 
journey now. It's a Circle Line train, one stop to High Street, Kensington. The next station is High Street, Kensington. Change for the District Line via Earls Court. Exit for bus services to Olympia, London. Are you tired of watching the same old things on YouTube or your TV? Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? It's Paul and Marcus. Allowing myself that nine minute grace period for filming, the total time door to door was one hour and 11 minutes. So that is actually nine minutes less than I would usually spend traveling into work. So maybe I should consider going this way more in future. Bearing in mind, it will cost me 1.75 more. See you next time. Bye.